Hi, my name is Nadine Honey and welcome to a new video. Today I'm drawing Gage from The Legend of Zelda Spirit Tracks and I continue talking with you about what happened while my YouTube break. Before I start talking about other things, I want to tell you a bit about the drawing itself. Two years ago for Linktober I started a sketchbook sketchbook which only included inkings done using a brush. This sketchbook still has empty pages to fill and now I wanted to finish it. Since it nearly only included Zelda drawings, I wanted to also finish it with Zelda drawings. I think this is also a great way to get into drawing again, because I was not drawing for a while. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Since I still do not have a regular video schedule, make sure to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notifications to not miss any future contents. If you like the content, please give it a thumbs up and share it. Thank you! Now we are starting with the not so funny content. Why I was not drawing for a while? During my break, I got heavily ill. It took about two months to get over it and regenerate. During that time, my female cat Luna was always on my side, cheering me up and caring about me. She was always there. Always. After I got better, my cat got ill as well. First the doctors thought it's just a cold, but very fast we recognized it was not. Very fast her urgence changed in a bad way. She was not able to process food anymore and lost not only her weight, but also her whole energy. She was too weak to do any surgery or something more intense she needed. It was too late for her. We tried all possible stuff, but nothing helped and her life roller coaster went down really fast. It was so hard to tell the vet to make her sleep forever. She looked into our eyes and she wanted to stay alive so badly. But she was already nearly starved to death and had pain a lot. It was so sad. I cannot even explain that. After her death, I felt completely lost. I lost my friend who was there for me every time for the last eight years. We shared adventures, experiences and memories. She was not only a cat, she was a family member and my friend. Every time when I entered my art room, I felt it like falling into an endless hole. My brain was empty and I was only sad. Luna was always there with me. She lied next to me on the floor and purred. Sometimes she scratched on my legs to get some cuddles. And in her last half year, we even shared my chair. I was sitting on the front part while she was sleeping between my back and the backrest of my chair. She was feeling cold a lot of times, even though it was very warm in the rooms. This way I kept her warm and she calmed me a lot by purring behind my back. I never felt alone in this room and was always able to do art even though it was already late at night. But the weeks after her death, most times I sat down on my chair and just cried. I always had the feeling to see her somewhere or to hear her. My male cat Simba was the same. It was like she was still there. I'm still missing her a lot and I'll keep her in my heart forever. It really took me weeks to get comfort comfortable again in my art room. Sometimes I still feel lonely there, but it's getting better. I try to concentrate on the nice moments Luna and me shared while I was doing art. To concentrate on this nice, funny and lovely cat I shared my life with. I think I'm able to enjoy my art room and my art again. Now I already talked again a lot. I'm sorry that this time it was such a sad topic. But you know, life is not always funny. Next time I've got a nicer topic because I want to tell you about my art space which changed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to not miss any future content. If you like my video, please press the like button, share it and leave me a comment. Thanks for your attention and see you in the next video.
Bye.